Hello viewers, uh, we greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the Super TV. Uh, today we are here, I'm here with my sister, uh, my friend Sophia. So we are going to be ministering to you. So thank you very much. She's going to greet herself, greet you and introduce herself to you. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's such an honor and a privilege to be here. Uh, my name is Sophia Ma. of Antioch Community Church. I'm married to my wonderful husband, Albert, and two children, Andrew and Susanna. I'm blessed to have them. It's such a blessing to be here. Amen. We thank God for we have, uh, we are going to share today about guarding our hearts, and it comes from Proverbs 4.23, and we're going to read from the Bible. Can you see that in NIV? Okay. So Proverbs 4.23 Above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Yes. Um, as we share today, uh, guarding our hearts, we see that it is, when we look at our hearts, it's, it's the source. Mm -hmm. It's all, this is very important to guard our hearts because this is life. Mm -hmm. Whatever we put on our heart, mm -hmm. that is the way our life is going to be. So um, we're going to continue uh, seeing what the examples, what are the benefits, and how can we learn to guard our hearts. Yes. If you share with us, that will be great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so when I heard about guarding our heart as the topic, I thought back way before when I was younger and thinking about guarding your heart as a thing where um, you know our hearts were this special temple and if anything got in or if we allowed anything um, of the enemy to um, influence us we would totally be destroyed or you know it was I, I had this mentality that I had to do all this work to, to protect this heart and so I would read my Bible I would like stick my head in but um, I feel like in a way I lived a little bit of fear-based um, relationship earlier on in my life where um, I didn't want to disappoint God or, or mess up. So in a way I felt like this guarding the heart, I had a, a, a wrong perspective initially. Yeah, but uh, yes, I read about a girl, uh, she was also saying the same thing. Um, she said that uh, she used to hear about uh, the pastor preaching about guard your heart mm -hmm. but she 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 never got it well because uh, even the mother used to say guard your heart guard your heart guard your heart and she said she was living in fear mm -hmm. and she thought that maybe guarding my heart is to seal like as you seal something you're gonna keep uh, or to coat it or what but she was asking what is guarding my heart can be look like so um and then she said that the time she one time she discovered and that uh, took her in the word of God yeah. and she, when she read about this proverb Proverbs 423 and she saw that God what is God and she looked she was researching and she saw searching and she saw that what is the word God means in Hebrew it, it, it talks about it says that it's like keep like a guard keep protect mm. it's like a, yeah so she said that she realized that that took her to the word of god whereby the word of god is always positive anyway the word of god i have been sharing with people about the word of god mm. the the word of god protects yeah. it brings life mm. so it's it's like a god is telling us this is the only way you can keep your life mm. so whatever goes on your heart brings life what you hear uh, our mind uh, sets your mindset and our mind you know our mind our minds communicates mm -hmm. with the heart what goes on the mind you hear because the Bible says that the when you hear hearing by the Word of God when you hear the word the word you hear brings faith mm -hmm. so 
when that word goes on your mind, the heart already communicated. Mm -hmm. So maybe let me say the word is a negative word. Eh? Most of the time, your heart stands, starts to you start to worry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So God is telling us that this is the only way you can get life. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether you can add on that. Then we'll see some scriptures. There are many yeah. scriptures which talks about that, and mm -hmm. it will, it brings life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I, I appreciate you sharing that testimony because um, it just, I think it, it brings to light that oftentimes people are wanting to walk um, uh, in a way before the Lord that is honoring and that is keeping to His Word. And sometimes with the fear, it, it kind of uh, breaks that the freedom that um, Jesus wants us to have in our relationship mm. with Him and the Father. And I think for me, more recently, as I learned about the fact that he wants us to hear his voice and have a relationship, yes. it's really broke that idea of like this faith journey of guarding, even guarding my heart, um, where it used to be all about what you know I had to do, is he saying he will lead and he will guide. And one of the <coughs> scriptures that I wanted to share was John 10, mm -hmm. 14 to 15 and 27. It says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. This is Jesus talking. Hmm. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. And so um, it's been a, a sweet journey transitioning from the, the fear-based walk with the Lord of not messing up and trying to keep my heart protected into a place of um, like wanting to to yield my heart to the Lord. And it's made all the difference because sometimes I'm, even in the Word, if my heart is not yielded to understanding the heart of God or Jesus wanting to speak to me, um, I, I'll i just look at the Word and just want to kind of understand it from my own perspective sometimes, but I feel like He's always calling me back to, to really try to listen for His heart, listen for His voice. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's been a great freedom in my walk with the Lord when um, He guides me in His Word and, and just to trust His heart that He will lead and guide. Even if I, even if I do make a wrong choice or I'm not you know, guarding my heart with what I'm thinking, mm. He always redeems even those times and guides me in the, in the path. But it's always about, like, for myself, turning my heart back to Him um, being yielded, like just the heart posture of not fearing, disappointing, but just trusting in His love and um, just walking in greater, like that desire to know and love Him. Yeah, yeah. that is life. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, on the other way around, what you, you think about or what you put on your heart can destroy your life or mm -hmm. you can get the life. Yeah. which the Bible talks about, about life. And you know, what if you get a negative word, mm -hmm. for me, for example, I take it like a trash yeah. or a junk, junk mm -hmm. or trash. For example, you see whatever is trash, you just put it in a trash can. Mm -hmm. And you, you know here, Tuesday or Monday, that's when you put that trash can at the sidewalk. Yeah. And it's really trash. It yeah. can stay there like a... Nobody touches it mm -hmm. because everyone knows that it, that is trash. So I see every word which is negative, it can, it can damage my life. So the Bible tells us that whatever we do, mm -hmm. God is the watchman that protects our souls. And we are not guarding mm -hmm. our hearts in our own strength. That's right. So that is when I reflect on the word of God. When I look at the other side, I say, no, I don't want any trash mm -hmm. in my life because whatever is not of the word of God or whatever is not positive. Mm -hmm. Because I know there are some people who don't know about God mm -hmm. yet. When you talk about the word of God, he doesn't know what you mean. As mm -hmm. we had an example that this girl was like getting confused. What am I, what is guarding? What what are they saying about guarding? Mm -hmm. She she had that feeling of fear how to guard her heart. Mm -hmm. But the the very good part is it takes us back to to the word of God that every positive word Whatever you hear, if you are like with your friend, what you talk can 
gives you healing, mm. can bring life, mm -hmm. or it can damage your life, like it can put you in worry about mm -hmm. the situation. Mm -hmm. Though we go, we go through a lot. There are many yeah. situations we go through a lot, but there are some scriptures which helps us mm -hmm. to, for us to develop the way we can live. But living is on the word of God. As I was sharing with you, the word is in Colossians. Colossians. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in Colossians. Mm -hmm. It talks about, there is a way how I have been moving on to see that I, I, I overcome the situations that I don't want to put, the, to think about negative. Okay, mm -hmm. it can be like that situation is there. Mm -hmm. But how are you going to overcome? You, you got it? Mm -hmm. It is Colossians 3 verse 1. Mm -hmm. Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Yes. Here I see this. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that since then you have been raised from Christ. Mm -hmm. Set your hearts on things above where Christ is. So, we all know that, um, you know, Jesus was raised from the grave by the power of the Holy Spirit. And this one is saying, you have been raised with Christ. Because when he raised, I know that Jesus sits in me. So, I know that God who is in me is greater than the situation which I see. I may be going through the problem but that problem or that situation is too big for me to think about it if I start thinking about that problem I will not last you will be frustrated so what I this scripture helps me a lot that instead of thinking about what is going on right now the problem the chaos around me the Bible says set your hearts on things above where Christ is so it's like teaching me Teach your, your, yourself to think about the godly things yeah. where Jesus is because that is life. Mm -hmm. So that is, this Bible is putting me like to think positive. Mm -hmm. Who is Christ? Mm -hmm. Christ raised from the dead. Christ brought us life. He was crucified. He was cast for me to be, to be able to have life and life internally. So when I think about what God has done, and what he can do. When I go in the word of God, instead of thinking of those things what are happening, let me say, okay, people lose their loved one. Okay, I lost my husband. But what has kept me, I use this scripture so much. Mm. How? Instead of, you see all the story, instead of thinking about that story, I was thinking about what God has been using this man of God. I could see that this man, even if he's still alive, he would have told me, he used to tell, May don't worry about those things. That is written here mm -hmm. in Philippians 4, 6. Yeah. The Bible says, oh, don't be anxious for yes. nothing. Yes. But, you know, you don't have to be worried because when you worry, it doesn't add anything on you. Mm -hmm. In Matthew 6, to, from 25 up to 33. Mm -hmm. Because when you worry, how long you take, it doesn't add. Mm -hmm. So, this what is telling us that set your hearts on things above yes. can you imagine when you are thinking about god when you are thinking about joy mm -hmm. and you go in jeremiah 8 10 and say the joy of the lord is my strength mm -hmm. when in, you are in trouble and you say oh i just have to be happy mm -hmm. not only that in these things in these big circumstances mm -hmm. these troubles these situations which happens in the secret, when I read about Paul, Paul, uh, the Bible says that Paul asked God so much when he was going through a, a, a situation and God was saying, no, in that way I will get my glory. Mm -hmm. So we have to realize that in certain troubles we go through, it is a teacher for our lives, for us to move on. Mm -hmm. It's a teacher which which teaches us to the situation to overcome. When you overcome, you'll never be the same. When you overcome the situation because you have put your heart, your heart to think about the things all above, mm -hmm. you'll never remain the same. Mm -hmm. I have seen that. So, to go back, I, I'm just encouraging someone, like, I know you are going through a situation. It's really big. 
oh, you have lost someone. It's really big. Nobody wants to lose someone. But how are you going to overcome? To overcome, just think about God. Just think, think about what God can do in such a situation. This will overcome the enemy. Because I know the enemy wants you to cry. The enemy most of the time wants us to praise him. Oh, look at this big thing that Satan has done uh, in, in my life. That is adding credit on Satan is hmm. whatever he does. But in that, in the midst of the trouble, when you say, oh, I thank you, Lord, as David said in Psalm 34, he said, oh, my time I will be praising God. I worship God in such time. So that is the faith that is guarding your heart instead of thinking about the, those problems. You, you see that that word of God fills your heart and you feel life mm -hmm. it is a challenge it's a challenge yes. you're challenging the enemy that i see what you have done yeah but i have a greater god in my life i see god has done a lot in my life i know you are the enemy who want to distract me mm -hmm. but the god who is in me is greater than what you do so when we do that the second uh the second line said set your minds on the things above not only earthly things. Mm -hmm. That is very powerful. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you can add on that. He talked about even the mind. Yes. Yes. Um, actually, as you were speaking, um, it reminded me of a, a thing that we do called tending your heart, which mm -hmm. is actually something that's been really helpful for me to... Sometimes you're, you're going through a lot of like stressful or worries, and sometimes you don't know what is going on in my heart or my mind. And it helps to actually ask God, what, what is this really about? And sometimes he'll highlight, oh, you, you want, you're seeking this person's approval. You know, you're trying to be worthy in their, in their sight. And this is a lie that, you know, that I'm not worthy or that I'm, you know, um, I guess the lie would be that um, I need to have approval of man to, to be valuable or something. Yeah, too. And then to allow God to, to, to bring up the lie, mm -hmm. to renounce the lie. I am not, my value and worth is not dependent on people's approval. Mm -hmm. to, re, to break partnership and just say, you know, when, when we're believing a lie, it's, I'm realizing sometimes we're like partnering with the enemy in that lie. And so just speaking out, breaking partnership with that lie and then allowing God to, um, Breaking partnership, repenting, turning away from anything to have to do with that thought, mm. and then allowing um, God to speak the truth, like an exchange. Yes. I think it's so important when there is something in our heart that the Lord is not wanting us to believe or, or stay in. Uh, like you're saying, set our minds on things above, not on these earthy. Mm. Um, those are the things He wants to bring in exchange. I think as we look to Him, as we set our minds on Him, He'll bring the exchange um, of what what His thoughts are, whether it's you know that our, our worth and value is is based on His love for us, not what we do or how we can earn it, um, and to receive that truth um, from above, that truth that like literally falls from heaven into your heart, and to really seal it and rejoice and declare that. I found that's been um, just a practical way to allow um, the Lord to to guard, help me guard the, my heart and what what thoughts I hold and what thoughts I cast aside. Yes, that is uh, really yeah. very very powerful because the Bible here in Jude 21 says, "Keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting for the mercy." Of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life that is Jude when you read and uh, Jude 21 and Jude, Psalms 1830 says this God his way is perfect mm. his ways are perfect mm. the word of the Lord proves true he is a shield for all those who take refuge mm. in him that is the word. Mm -hmm. He's our refuge. He's the refuge. So when we guard our heart, our thinking is being changed because um, as we read about, we talked about the word that uh, hearing, we, when we hear the word, when you, when you want to guard your heart, mm -hmm. even yourself, you can talk to yourself. Yeah. 
these days I have learned to talk to myself <laughs> because there are many situations yeah? you feel like you have heard a lot you are at work yeah. this one another one is saying this another one is saying this when you go in the community when you go in the store everyone is pulling whatever he wants to buy people are saying this and this before you know it someone calls you brings bad news so it piles so many times I, I tell myself that you know me, there are many words but no, they are not belong to you. They don't belong to you. So I, I, I just switch, it's like switching, uh, changing the channel in my life to see that what can I think about. Then I go in the word because the Bible has told us that in Psalms 1830 that his ways are perfect, his word proves true he's the shield for all those who take refuge mm -hmm. in him mm -hmm. so that's the only way where i had to run to mm -hmm. so another way in psalms 119 verse 9 he says how can a young man keep his ways pure by guarding it according to your word mm -hmm. yeah it's like by guarding by guarding it according to god's word mm -hmm. and then in proverbs 2 7 8 in NIV said he holds success in store for the upright he is assured to those whose walk is blameless for he guards the cause of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones those words encourages me so much when you whenever they are like situations okay you have all those negative words around everything going on is wrong then when you set your mind on God, as we go to church, we, we share every time about the word of God, then in that kind you can recall about the word of God. And you remind yourself, and in the situation, you bring a, a word which goes with that situation. Like as we shared about Jesus, for him to overcome the enemy as he went fasting, that's where uh, the, the temptation came, that how Satan was trying to say, okay, if you are the son of God, do this, then, and he says it's written. So it is the same way where you said, oh, no, I will think about God's word because God's word is pure. It is the shield. It's, it is perfect in me. That is the only word I can think about. So whatever we hear, even when we are home, yeah. How many things this is happening? Your children, your child is doing this, and uh, mm -hmm. you you feel like you are upset, and you feel like bringing out the word. Whatever you bring to your child, before you know it, you can say a word which is not going to help your your child. Even um, many times when they do mistakes, you mm -hmm. say, "I'm going to beat you." <laughs> so that word goes on her mind, and in her thoughts, every time she says, oh, "Mommy is going to beat me," mm -hmm. so. She's when the way we, we, we train our children or whatever we speak in our children's lives determines their future. Mm. So, in, in the other way around, if you, we start saying the words which can help our children positive, positive, mm. positive, these children when they grow up they don't forget. They say, My mother said, My dad used to tell me this. Mm. My mom used in the morning. My mom used to 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 say our prayers. Mm -hmm. See such prayer before we go to school. That is the way to train our children. But the words we use with our family, mm -hmm. with our children, they will never forget. Some of them, when they see mommy and dad, if things <laughs> turns around fighting, they think that maybe this world goes like this. Yeah. Dad has to say such words to mommy. And mommy has to scream. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> but so that is a kind. Whatever child will see yeah. at home, that is like for them. They are like it's like a computer. You know, our minds are like a computer. Mm -hmm. You know, and our minds communicates with our hearts. The Bible talks about how we can renew our minds through the word of God yes. from Romans. It's 12 mm -hmm. that you renew your minds through the word of God. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about these children. What do they see? What do they hear? Mm -hmm. When you leave your TV there, where, what are the channels you choose for them to watch? Mm -hmm. That is also very important. Mm -hmm. So it's you, the parent, to determine your children's life. So whatever will go on her, her computer, mm -hmm. 
who laughed and she thinks that maybe this is the future I have to live. Whatever you watch. Have you ever been with a friend? Who I, I had a friend, she used to watch these movies of blood, hmm. people killing. What? I know that is, when I looked at her, I said, oh my goodness. Because whatever she watches, it's like a, watching, even if like a, some messages or some communication is like body language. Hmm. When you look at someone, you, you get to know who that person is. So when I looked at her, I was asking, how can you manage to watch such? And she said, yeah, that's what I like. Mm -hmm. So that gives you whatever someone is doing or watching, it's in your mind, mm -hmm. you get to know such a kind of person because that's the way you have to know that this is what her thinking is because for me I'm, I'm afraid of that because even at night I can get all those nightmares yeah. killing guns things so if you are setting your child's life at home what are the words what are the channels because whatever she's watching at the TV mm. when she sleeps when she goes at school that is what she's going to share when she grows, she would start practicing mm -hmm. what she saw, what the daddy has been saying. That's why many parents encourage their children to go to church. Mm -hmm. They learn about the word of God. Mm -hmm. They are being trained. Mm -hmm. They learn about who God is, who is Jesus is, what Jesus is doing. So it's it, this mm -hmm. being guarding our hearts. It goes deeper even in marriage. Yeah. You see, even in marriage, if you have your wife, you will love your wife. What are the words? which can encourage your, your wife. You think when you say negative words, they don't add. Mm. They're going to worry your wife. Your wife is going to be afraid of you. Whenever you knock the door and you have come and your wife will say, oh, he has come. Or he's uh, like even, even husbands. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they get afraid of whatever, whatever, whichever use, whichever body language. So it goes on your mind. It communicates with the heart. It starts worrying you. So God is telling us, to guard our hearts, mm. to guard our hearts. It helps us mm. as we communicate in the family, as we communicate at church. You see, when we are at church, you feel that presence of God. Mm. You know why? Because the word we share is perfect, is true. It's the word of God. The worship is perfect. Yes. It's from the throne of God. Yeah. Then when the presence comes, everyone feels at peace. Mm. So. It's really, it's a lot. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. I'm learning so much. I, I'm thinking about, yeah, we, these days, um, one way we uh, let the children marinate in the Word of God is in the morning we do like just one chapter a day. Yes. And um, we are now in Jonah. Yes. And one of the things that I, I like to bring up, even as we started with this idea of guarding your heart being something like a fearful thing if you mess up, you know, it's, I feel like the Lord's been totally opening my eyes to see how much, even in our choices that are not the right choices, mm. uh, like say Jonah, he decided to disobey God and, and flee away and, and um, not go to Nineveh. God used even his disobedience to bless the, the people on the ship with him to experience God and they worshipped him at the end. And so I feel like this place of fear is um, is broken off because we, we make choices, sometimes not the right ones, um, but God will redeem. Not I'm not saying go out and make the wrong choices, but <laughs> there doesn't have to be a place of fear, yeah. even with um, another idea of guarding your heart that as you were sharing, I was thinking about is um, like those places, even as um, you're sharing with about how we raise our children mm -hmm. and we make mistakes and we yell at them because we're impatient or we, you know, um, say something. There's always a redemption. Um, there's there's um, repentance. They can, we can apologize to them and they can see that, oh, we don't have to be perfect. There's forgiveness and mm -hmm. grace. And even with my husband, sometimes I'm holding these like bitterness things. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes guarding your heart is like, don't let anything come in that's mm -hmm. not good. But sometimes inside, within, there's something bad and we need to like remove it. And that's like confession. Yeah. It's been like a powerful thing to not let things fester, yes. but to, to confess, to apologize, to repent, to, um, to yeah, I think in the word in James, he says, um, confess your sins to one another 
and you will be healed. And so I feel like that's another part of um, guarding, guarding your, your heart. heart because yeah. you haven't hide anything. Right. Yes. To be free. So, yeah, you'll and, be free. And, um, yeah. So that is what David yeah. talked about even yeah. in Psalms 51. Mm -hmm. And this came up to, to show that David had a heart of God. Mm -hmm. You know, it is like, uh, okay, we walk, you know, someone has come, has told you he's your friend. Mm -hmm. You work together in the office. Mm -hmm. But he has said something which has really annoyed you. Mm -hmm. What are you going to overcome? How are you going to guard your heart mm -hmm. in order to walk free? He's the person you work with every day in the office hmm? but there, is, there are some conflicts mm. you had something or oh, someone has just come and told you that so and so your best friend has said this has you know mm -hmm. you feel like he, you are you get annoyed yeah. you become angry but in order to guard your heart you you don't you have to keep that on your heart yeah. the the steps are to go to pray you recall in the word of God what does the word say about this you this is your friend and you have you to keep your friendship there are many many words which are telling us yeah. there is a, a word which says only follow peace mm. and you know you leave these uh, destructions and being angry and everything and you follow peace but there is a way how to do it but that word you have brought that there is forgiveness mm. there is forgiveness instead of hiding it or keeping it for long because we don't know we walk with the lord but we know we have to walk righteous with god you know it's not easy that's why everyone says oh i'm not perfect everyone says i'm not perfect but the bible says we are the righteousness of god in christ jesus by his grace because that's why he brought this repentance the reconciliation so it is good for you if you have someone who wronged you is really to to work it out yeah even in our homes you know in our families when you hold something you are holding yourself so that is what i have seen but the thing is how are you going to guard your heart is to bring it out you pray about it and god will guide you how you go about that because his word is perfect his word is the shield his word is pure here it says uh, it's in proverbs 4 24 uh, from verse 20 up to 21 he says this this is Solomon saying my son be attentive to my words incline your ear to my saying let them not escape from your sight keep them within your heart mm -hmm. the 22 is saying for the are uh, for they are life to those who find them the word and healing to all their flesh that part is really so powerful yes. it is life to those who find them if you want to live a better life you work it out mm -hmm. as i gave a testament that okay when i was in trouble when i was going into a situation you don't see anyone eh? you are there with god mm -hmm. god is saying trust in me how are you going to trust in god so he said that instead of thinking about things going on right now all the chaos and everything you think about the above things, the heavenly things, where Christ is. That is the way we're going to overcome. Mm -hmm. Because the more you think about the negative, or the more you think about so and so said this, someone told me this, someone said that you look like this. How do you look? You, you, we have to trust, we have to believe in ourselves. Not only that, we know who we are mm -hmm. in God. For me to be distracted for the word someone said, I'll start asking myself some questions. Who am I in God? Mm -hmm. We need to know ourselves in God. Yes. That, com that confirmation you have in you, mm -hmm. that confidence you have in you, will protect you, will guard your heart because you know who you are. You'll start thinking about that and you, you know, you cancel the word you heard about you. Are you really, if someone come and say, oh, you look like a dog, are you really a dog? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. I'm perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm created by, you know, by the God created me in his image. Mm -hmm. So I start drawing those pictures, seeing God in me, that he is greater than the word someone has used mm -hmm. on me. So these words are life. Yes. Guarding our hearts is the way we think. 
we just have to change our mindset mm -hmm. through the word of God. Mm -hmm. As we, we, we read in Romans, Romans uh, 12, 2, mm -hmm. that uh, renew your mind mm -hmm. through the word of God. Someone is there saying that, for me, I don't know even the word of God, but at least you know the positive word. You know, the opposite of positive is negative. So you need positive words. Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, I see that all positive words are words of God because they come, they encourage. The, the positive word encourage, encourages yeah. someone. You can do it. You can move on. You have done it good. That is really good. You look good. You look nice. If someone wants to destroy your self-esteem, he will bring words which puts you down. You know, many times we are called, we have calls. God called us. But if someone wants to destroy what God put in you, he will use negative words. That's why we are talking up, uh, about guarding our hearts. Mm -hmm. When we guard our hearts, because we know who we are, God called me, I'm a chosen person, I'm anyway, I'm, I'm who I am by his grace. So I'm important before God. So someone is trying to say things which I don't think I am. You just have to believe in yourself and trust in God who created you. Yes. So that one will make you overcome what the enemy wants yes. to bring in, in your life. Yes. So we just have to work on our lives and start practicing it. Mm -hmm. That's why I told you that these days I started a long time talking to myself. When it's too much in me and I feel it's too much stress, too much thinking, I say, man, there is the word of God. You look beautiful, me. Yeah. You look nice. And I start feeling myself, you know, and I start singing. Yeah. And I start putting on the word of God. And I hear what it says. But ignore all the negative words the enemy is saying to you. Because before I come out of the, my house, I know how I have dressed. We have millers. <laughs> I go and I look at myself, how I look, and I say, yeah. May you look beautiful and I go out. So when I go out and someone said, Oh, how come that you put on that dress? Oh, are you kidding? I know. I, I, before he came, I know how I dressed. And I really came out, even my heart free. I don't say that someone doesn't give you advice, but there is a, the other way which I'm trying to show someone that never get discouraged with those negative words mm -hmm. because some people use them to discourage you because some people get really discouraged and someone can get miserable become miserable uh, am i really like this mm -hmm. someone said i look like this mm -hmm. someone said that I, I i i the way i i i speak is not good some you are the one to train yourself and to think more about what you do, what you think, how you work with God and everything. You are the one to encourage yourself before even someone else come to encourage you. Encourage yourself. Know who you are. Your potential. The enemy is looking for your potential. The way you do things. You are doing good. You are doing good. The bad thing is a bad thing. is a negative. That's what we are talking about. This is what God is saying. that Guard your heart. Guarding your heart. Be positive. Even about your life mm -hmm. because some people are negative about their lives mm -hmm. it's like uh, you don't love yourself but if you love yourself just be positive about your life say that may i'm going to do this like david said i'm going to beat goliath so i say that i'm going to do this i'm going to do my i'm going to work on my business i'm going to plan like this and someone say oh are you gonna be able to do that that is a discouragement i say yeah I'll do it. Mm -hmm. God who has given me wisdom and the vision, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. So something, we just have to Amen. encourage ourselves and guard our hearts because only one on one can mess up your heart, mm -hmm. can mess up your whole day. Mm -hmm. So we just have to be sensitive. Mm -hmm. So yes. we thank God for that. Yes, thank you, May. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, I know it's so it's, it's really important. boosts the life. Yeah. I know some someone there is being boosted. We thank God for that. Are you adding on that as we wind up? So um yeah, I just wanna say I, I mean I wanna encourage you in your walk with the Lord. He has so many things he wants to say. Like as you're speaking, I, I'm just remembering times where I sometimes I'm my worst enemy people don't often say negative things to me but within myself can come like 
negative thoughts or like yes. whether it's criticism or like perfectionist or or the enemy whatever but um, just to, to still your heart and have a time for myself I love to journal so I'll have like my thoughts down and I'll wait on the Lord I'll just be quiet I trust he says that he wants to speak I can listen to his voice and his sheep so I just still my heart and allow myself to just you know start oftentimes it's my beloved Sophia or my precious daughter yes. and he will start telling me what his thoughts are for me yes. his love his great if it's a condemning word I know it's definitely not from him but just like what you're saying allowing the positivity the love compassion tenderness yes. he loves you so much and wants to speak to you so I just I just want to pray blessing on all those who are watching yes that you would have confidence to hear his voice yes he loves you so much and wants to speak truth Yes. through his word yes. and also through his spirit that is um, always speaking over you yes and so thank you may for, for this time i'm god yeah. is good thank yeah. you and for this time yeah. we bless the lord god bless god you god bless you amen peace